Hey guys, welcome to episode number 414. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. And today I wanted to share with you how I'm going to feed my vegetables to my plecos. Now, if you guys saw the recent January freshwater my aquarium box unboxing you might have seen this product here the screw cumber this is a product by OptiFish they're out of the UK and they've come up with this really ingenious little tool to help you feed raw vegetables to your plecos and other bottom feeders in your aquariums essentially all it is is a piece of stainless steel and um, it's sort of in this screw shape pattern all you need to do is cut up your vegetable twist a screw cumber onto it and you can toss it into the aquarium and the added weight of that screw cumber is going to help it sink and because it's sort of going through your vegetable multiple times it's going to hold all of the pieces of that vegetable down on the bottom of the aquarium where your plecos and your crayfish and everything else can get to that product. So, step number one, we have an exotic garden vegetable. And um, I think rule number one of fish keeping is if you steal um, a knife and a cutting board from your wife's kitchen, you have to return it clean uh, before she finds out. So uh, I'm gonna do that right after this video. But essentially what I'm gonna do is take a few small pieces of cucumber here. And uh, you can see I'm really good at cutting vegetables. And I wanna do two things. I wanna take, I wanna take sort of like a, a slice of cucumber like this. But I also want to take, I'm gonna butcher this cucumber too, by the way. It's all right, it's all good. This is science, right? And I also wanna take a chip. So I've got a slice and a chip. And uh, I've got two screw cumbers here. It comes in a twin pack, so you get double the fun out of one package. And again, these are stainless steel, uh, marine grade, so it's not going to rust in your aquarium. Uh, it's pretty thick gauge, so it's not going to bend or twist or anything. It's pretty sturdy stuff. Um, so essentially all I'm going to do is position this so that um, that can just sort of twist in. And as you can see, just by turning this, I'm able to twist it through, punch it through both sides of this piece of cucumber on both sides in a way that I can throw that into the aquarium and hopefully that will sink. Again, I'll do the same thing here. I'm just gonna line it up with the side of the vegetable here, push it through and just rotate it, sort of like a, you know, a bottle of wine, like a, a wine cork and uh, get that to go through multiple times. Now that's really on there, that's really secure. That's not gonna go anywhere. That's gonna allow the plecos to feed around it and uh, hopefully that will keep that on the bottom of the aquarium for a very long time. All right, now let's pan up. Boom. Let's move the bucket. And let's see if we can get either the pleco or the crayfish to come over here and eat these. So as you saw, both of these dropped extremely quickly. Um, with raw vegetables, they're gonna float. So the fact that these sink is already a, uh, you know, a selling point to these little screw cover devices. So uh, I'm just gonna leave these on the bottom of the aquarium for a little while. I'll get my hands out of here. I'll turn the camera off and we'll come back in five or 10 minutes and we'll see what we've got. All right, guys, well, I waited about an hour, but uh, both of the plecos that are in this tank are not cooperating. So the only thing I could find to uh, show how well these screw cumbers work and how well they sink is uh, our friend, the crayfish. And of course, now that I start the video, he's walking away. There he is. And that's it. That's the end of the video. 
such a dramatic ending, I know, but there you have it. Two cucumbers on the bottom of the tank, and um, screw cucumber works great to keep them there. Uh, obviously, raw vegetables are better than blanched or cooked vegetables, uh, has more nutrients to them, but apparently they don't smell quite as much because nothing is coming over to uh, attack them. So I'll just leave them in there for a few more hours, see what happens, but uh, I'm not holding my breath and uh, I'm not keeping this video any longer. Oh, here comes another crayfish. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.